Well, welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zaratustra. We're broadcasting live from Los Angeles. And the topic of the day is how to be uh, the best of yourself, how to be uh, the higher version of yourself. As usual, we're going to start with a 15-minute meditation. Uh, this time, it's going to be a guided meditation. So I would like you to find a comfortable position. Just relax and bring your energy to yourself. Bring your energy here. And um, <clears throat> as you close your eyes and you center yourself and you're diverting your energy within, um, I would like you to bring your attention to the center of yourself and tell yourself, I am, I am here. I am present. And As you do this, I would like you to do a diagnostic check on your body and bring your attention. Let's start with your feet. Bring your attention to your feet, to your toes, and move your fingers around, your toes around. And then gently bring your attention to your legs, your knees, and feel your feet, your legs, feet, legs, knees, and bring your attention to your hips, feel your hips, kind of move your your hips around. And bring your attention to your stomach. Do a diagnostic check on your stomach. And gently bring your attention to your upper body. Bring your attention to your shoulders, your heart area, your chest area. And now I want you to move your hands, check your hands, your arms, move them around. And be present, check things out. Just be here, bring your attention to this moment and check things out. Be present with what you're doing right now. Move your arms, hands, fingers, and just be in this moment, be here. And bring your attention to your head to your third eye. Also move your face, move your facial muscles, your lips, your eyes, your forehead, the skin, just move things around. I want you to be present here with yourself. Be 100%. All right, beautiful. And as you are in this process, as you're doing this work, uh, 
I would like you to gently see yourself coming out of your body. in a form of like a light, you know, a ball of light, you're coming out of your body and you're looking back at yourself. Look back at this body who's sitting with its eyes closed in meditation just look at it You're staring at your own body from the outside, your pure light, and you're observing the body. Just keep looking. And now, as you're looking at your own body from the outside, I would like for you to put a shield of light, a bubble of light around your the body you're looking at. And as you're doing this, I would like you to look at the vehicle that in this life you have chosen to use or it's been given to you, whether you have chosen it or it's been chosen for you, it doesn't matter. We're not going to get caught in that game. But this is what you have right now. This is your vehicle for the moment. So I would like to look at it, accept it the way it is, and love it. Accept it. This is your vehicle. This is all you get at this point. This is the best version that you can have at this moment, maybe another life, it would be different. Maybe in the past, it's been different, but right now, this, this is the best you get. So why don't we come to terms with it and accept it, embrace it, and see how we can use this vehicle to the best of our ability to get as much mileage as we can and to be gentle to it so it can continue carrying us through this journey that we're on. And now as you're looking at it and you put a shield of light, a sphere of light surrounding this body, I want you to see the light turns to be golden with an orange in it, gold, orange, vibrant, 
and full of love and bliss. You're looking at your body from the outside. You're completely embracing your body. You're accepting this vehicle as the vehicle that you are traveling in this journey with. You're in full compliance with it and you're accepting the way it is and you're embracing it. You're embracing all its imperfections and how perfect it is in the same time. That is capable of doing all these miraculous tasks. And now you're gently coming back into the center of yourself. You're coming back into your body. You can enter either from your crown chakra or you enter from your heart chakra and you come into the body. And as you, where you're at in this point, I would like you to repeat to yourself again, I am, I am here, I am present. I am awareness. You're in deep silence. You're in the center of yourself. You have dissolved into the oneness. You are have expanded your horizons into the infinite self. And you've become very radiant. And there is a strong glow of light is expanding from your heart. It's vibrating outside of your body. The light is shining through and it's getting bigger and bigger. As you're in this very deep state of being, deep state of meditation, this state of presence, there's a deep conviction inside you that all is well.
you are and you are here and you know that you are eternal you are presence nothing can touch the truth of who you are the quality of your experiences can change the texture the smell the light the sound the way you feel and touch things you relate to things all of these things can change but you are in this very deep conviction that you are here and you are present and that is one non-changing factor the I am the fact that you are the fact that you are awareness you are presence and no, no matter what kind of experience you may be having, what sort of emotion or thought or thing that comes and goes in your life, it does not affect the truth of who you are. That you are presence you are here you are awareness you cannot be more awareness or less awareness no matter what is happening in your life the power of awareness does not change while everything else changes
slowly, slowly come back. back here. You're gently coming back from a deep state of meditation and a shift of your awareness from within to without. So if you are present and here, nothing changes in the quality of your state of being. Before you had your eyes closed and you were quiet and focused on your own, on your center. Now you're opening your eyes and your attention comes to me and you're listening to what I say but the truth of who you are, the center of yourself remains the center. The stillness remains stillness. All right, Rosalie. Yeah, I would like you to just listen to me and don't write anything to me today. This is very important. And just be present and listen, please. Okay, sweetheart? So, <clears throat> all right. So, how to be the best version of yourself? How to be um, your higher self? how to reach and touch the qualities of your higher self. Now, what I would like you to do is I would like you to imagine and see the higher version of yourself. <clears throat> what would you like? What do you see? How do you see yourself at your highest peak of consciousness how do you envision yourself so I would like you to just look at that if you need to close your eyes close your eyes and just see that see the best version of yourself what is it is it physical is it in your attitude? Is it in the way you feel about things? Is it the way you talk? How you relate to your family, to your parents? to your partner, to your children, to your co-workers, or just simply other human beings? Is it some kind of powers that you have? Let's say you like to be a healer. You want to be a shaman. 
you want to be helping other people and that's what you feel your mission is. You want to overcome your addictions. You want to overcome your anxiety, your fear. You have gone beyond your busy mind, all these crazy thoughts. You have gone beyond your attachments. You are free. How do you, what is your idea? Well, how do you envision of you being and reaching or acting from the position of your higher self? How do you see that? I would like you to simply without really trying and doing a lot of brainstorming, just simply come to your center and just see. What is your idea of your higher self? The best version of yourself. What is that? Is it related to a social status? Is this how you feel about yourself and feel about things on moment to moment of life? Like, how do you see that? Like your person never gets angry, never gets afraid, never gets jealous. It's very, has a great open heart. You're loving everyone. You're not excluding anybody. You have no judgments. Everybody you see, you just love and give them love. How do you see yourself? I want you to go to that place. What is your idea? You have infinite compassion, infinite healing power, no desires. You've gone beyond all human desires. How, how do you see that? How do you see yourself in that place? You have no need. I want you to envision the qualities that you are relating in, in your mind, in your heart. To your higher vision, higher version of yourself. What would you look like? How would you be acting? And now if you see that or you can at least touch on some parts of it, some aspect, aspects of it, then the next step is I would like you to shift into that 
and be that right now. And if it's difficult for you to choose and hold more than one, a few different qualities, just choose one. If it's difficult to have more than one, then make it simple. Embody that one or a few of these qualities or all of them that you would like to be at all times, embody that and move into that quality. Bring that quality forth. Can you feel it? Can you touch it? Can you sense it? Can you touch these qualities? Can you sense these qualities? And if you can, and you're there, What separates you to embody this quality at all times? What holds you back or what pulls you back from it? What happens? How far are you before you come to this quality at all times? Is it feasible that in this life you come to it? Can you see yourself to reach it? Do you see it in anybody else? Do you find yourself worthy to arrive at this place? Are you good enough in your own mind, in your own heart, that you can arrive at this place? And I guess that's a very important thing. Do you find yourself worthy Are you good enough to reach the qualities and embody your higher self? Or are you not good enough? You're not worthy. You have to come back another lifetime. You have to purify. You have, a, you have to clear a lot of your past. Just check, check it out. You're the only one who knows. Check, check things out. Do a diagnostic check. What's holding you back? From living the truth of who you are? From living, embodying your highest self, higher self.
you have to do more meditation. You have to spend more time with your guru. You have to lose weight. You have to make more money. You have to be younger, older. Move to a different place on the planet. Change your career. Do something else. What is it that you have to do in your mind? If I were to give you all these qualities right now, can you accept them? If they were just like I could snap my finger or move my nose like genie, and then you would have all of these qualities. In this moment, right now, I'll give you everything. Are you ready to accept them, really? Can you, can you handle it? Are you worthy to be the higher version of yourself? I want you to look at it. For example, if I told you, okay, in next 30 seconds or next minute, you're going to meet your soulmate. I'm going to introduce you to your soulmate. I'm going to put your soulmate's hand in your hand, the one you've been looking for all of your life, the partner of your life. How do you feel? Are you going to get nervous and frighten and say oh no 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 i'm not ready wait a minute i need to go fix my hair i need to lose some weight i need to fix my teeth i need to clean my house or whatever it is or you can just say okay i'm ready It's like when death death comes and chooses you and you say, okay, it's time for you to go. You can't say, oh, wait a minute. You know what? I didn't really go to that shamanic activation in Sedona with Zarathustra. Give me a little bit more time. I need to finish this. I didn't really spend time with my kids. I didn't really take that cruise to... Caribbean, I really didn't do this or that. Wait, wait, give me some more time. I didn't really tell my my kids I love them or my partner or my parents or whatever. I didn't really jump out of the plane and do a parachuting or I didn't go to Africa or I didn't really do this or that. I hesitated. Just give me a little bit more time. But death says, no, 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 your time's over, you gotta go. You have to come with me. The same thing when God comes and the light comes and wants to pour in you and take over you, are you ready? Can you handle it? Or you're going to say, oh, wait a minute, I'm not ready. I got to lose a little bit more weight. I got to do a little bit more meditation. I need to purify. I'm not ready for you. I'm not good enough. I haven't suffered enough to be worthy to accept it. What would you do? Your beloved is ready to give herself to you. What are you going to do? What would you say? Can you handle it?
So, <clears throat> come back to this place again, come back here. And I would like you to, again, one more time, envision your higher self, envision the higher version of yourself. And when you do this, what's separating you from that? What's holding you back from being what you really want to be or what you think you should be. You're envisioning the higher version, higher self of yourself. And now the next thing you're gonna do is I want you to see yourself at that place. You have become the higher version of yourself. See that. See yourself acting, behaving, responding from that place. And you have overcome the challenges that you have Things that throw you off no longer affect you. I want you to see that. And operate from that place. Whatever that is. Extreme, infinite compassion. A lot of love for all. No judgment, no fear. You're not reacting. Whatever that is, I don't know what is going on inside you, but I would like you to go beyond that and see this other part of yourself. Or if you've become a, an incredible, amazing spiritual teacher, you've become an incredible shaman, healer, musician, artist, mother, whether you're doing computer work, whatever. What do you see yourself? I want you to see that and you're doing it. Whatever that is, whether it's a quality inwards or it's a quality outside. I want you to go to that place. Can you feel it now? Can you touch it? And how does it feel being at this place now that you have accomplished what you always wanted to become or what you recently came up with this idea that this is what I want. This is where I need to be. I know it's there. I know it intuitively. I feel it. I could have never accomplished it, but now I am. How does it feel being the higher version of yourself? Do you like who you've become? Are you proud of yourself? Beautiful. Does anybody have any questions? I know, Rosalie, you're dying to ask me a question. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, when you tell us to, to find the color, that color never coming around me. It's coming a white color and out of there a purple. And okay. then I go out of myself. I've done it many times. Sometimes I disappear from here. And then I'm not sure if I'm dreaming or I'm sitting here. Right. Yeah. So the idea is to, the colors can change and vary for different people. So I make a suggestion, but your mind may not want that color. It may not grasp that color. And you may just pick something else. Automatically it happens. Or maybe nothing happens. But basically when I'm suggesting a color and then you can't grab it, it's okay. You just, whatever comes, okay? Yeah, and, and when I uh, go out of myself, then the other part can disappear for a while. Yeah. Like a fly. <laughs> as a spirit as in the house here, as never yeah. go out. Right. I, so I understand that there's somebody going here and look, right. and I can see it. Right. And the way yeah. I can do the same. Yes. Go over and look at other places. Yeah. Anybody? Anyone would like to share with me of your experience or you have a question? Hilde? Hi. Hi. I found out that um, the, when I'm the best uh, version of myself is when I'm in my silence. Okay. Yeah. So that's beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful to be there as well, you know. <laughs> okay. So what separates you? Okay. Not so when you see yourself in as the higher version of yourself, you envision yourself as this being who's utterly silent and still, correct? Yes. Right. Now what separates you from that? My thoughts. Your thoughts. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm not worthy, you know, and the most uh, hilarious thing is that, uh, that I, uh, I, I have been that all the time, you know, I've been in the silence. Yeah. Yeah. So I am um, sitting here sometimes and think that I'm not worthy it because I, I am that. Right. So <laughs> this is the very good thing you brought up. Okay. So we've been together for five years and mm -hmm. we've gone through a lot of different stages a lot of different workshops, retreats. I've seen your transformation in past five years that you have transformed and blossomed to this beautiful being. Thank you. So there are times that we go into this place that it's absolutely silent and still. So I'm just using that as, a, as an example. So, so there are times that you are really being your higher self. Yes. We've been there many times together. Mm -hmm. So you're already living it. Yeah, more or less. I, I just love to be in the silence, you know? Right. Just to be in the silence. It may not be there all the time, but when it's there, you are that. Yes. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so that's, that's a very good point, and that's a very good uh, acknowledging this part. That, so it, it, it becomes very clear that it's not really that far away because you're, you're part-time living it. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> yes, I do. Right. So we're using a measuring stick to measure things where we're at, and this measuring stick is different than five years ago. Mm. Right? Yes. Much closer to the target now. Yes, it is. Okay. And, uh, and I feel when somebody are uh, pushing my buttons or I reacting to something, 
it's uh, I just feel it for some time, and then it just disappear after maybe an hour and or some minutes, you know. And before it, I, I could feel it for weeks. Yeah. So now I just let uh, the feeling just pass through me, and then it's it is away. And after that, you know, that is uh, the grace came. Because when uh, every blockage is, is going away, I sink even deeper into my silence. Silence. So I just know that I have to do, to just feel it a little bit, and then it disappear, and then I sink deeper. Beautiful. <laughs> it hurts, you know, but it it is a blessing too. Yeah. It is a blessing. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks. Thank you for sharing. Oh, thank you. Hi, Shabnam. I'm trying to unmute you. Let me see if I can get to you. Hi, Zara. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Nice <laughs> having you with us. Thank you. I'm so glad that uh, this week I could, you know, just come in to the uh, webinar because last week I tried, I couldn't see you. Right, yeah, I remember after we talked together and you mentioned that and and uh, I don't know how many people you see, but uh, a, a, a group of us who are here, we're all going to be in Sedona together. So you're gonna be meeting your spiritual family and your sisters when you're coming to Sedona. I'm so glad and... Uh, yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> so um, go ahead. You wanted to share something with me. Yeah. Um, when I uh, meditate and I see, I try to imagine myself or sometimes if even I don't try, when I look at myself, uh, I see my higher self in both ways, unlimited, like uh, in physical material life and uh, like uh, a spirituality and uh, my uh, thoughts and ability. Uh, and I don't know that is it okay to I see myself like that or is that coming from my demanding or? Right. Uh, well, let, let me ask you this. We're talking about today when we were doing this meditation and this work, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And as we're, we were doing the work and I was guiding you into seeing your higher self, your best, your higher version of yourself, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? And yes, then, yes. And, and then, so what was the first thing that you see when we do this? Um, I mm, I always see myself that uh, I, I am capable to do everything and right. I'm helping people uh, emotionally, physically, life situation, uh, like bringing them, bring, bring them uh, like a, uh, how they can improve their career and how they can improve their higher self and uh, even right. they can heal themselves. So whatever I see, it's unlimited. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> I mean, and that gives me so much joy that whoever try to reach me, I can help them. I mean, that's beautiful. And so you want to trust this. You want to trust your visions mm -hmm. and your this desire because uh, when we all get together, you're going to meet a group of uh, brothers, sisters that were all on the same journey. You know, that's one of the, actually, let's put it this way. That's one of the Sanskrit definition of satsang is the associations of the monks on the path, the lovers of the truth, the association of the lovers of the truth on the path. That's what satsang in Sanskrit means. 
-hmm. That means we all come together <clears throat> and we're all aiming and having the same vision. All of us are being pulled and being motivated to perform a higher work and to sacrifice and to dedicate our lives to a higher cause. Now, <clears throat> you can go to a real estate uh, seminar or a how to become a millionaire seminar in every, any big city and then, you know, there's 2,000 people or 1,000 people gathered together with the uh, <clears throat> seminar leader is teaching everybody how you can become wealthy in a year or two or five years. And so now you have 1,000 people with a common goal that they're aiming at the same thing, how to become financially independent mm -hmm. and wealthy or whatever. And here we're a group that have come together that we're, we are all aiming at the same thing is number one is we are aiming to awaken, to come to our higher self, higher version of ourselves. <clears throat> and then once we do arrive at this place or as we are arriving at this place, we're working on ourselves to <clears throat> get rid of all these different obstacles that were that brings us down, uh, transforming of ourselves to this to this stage is also we like to help other people. Mm -hmm. And that's where we get our joy to serve the light. Mm -hmm. You know, same thing. There's a group of here, people here, that they're all, their goal is to become multimillionaires. And we're here, we are, this group is how we can help and be in service of the light. So, it's somehow through the grace and the mystery of life it brings us together. Somehow we find each other. And now we're all coming from all these different paths, these backgrounds. And when we share our backgrounds with each other, a lot of the times it's very similar. On mm -hmm. Us being on this spiritual path. We're kind of nomads, kind of the black sheep in the family, Somehow, when the awakening started to happen, nobody really understands us. Most of us coming from this, this, uh, I would say maybe 99% of us are coming from the same background that we have gone through this major change, this awakening process of self-awareness has kicked in, but the people in our family, friends surrounding us don't understand. Yeah. And, and we feel left, we feel kind of left out or we feel kind of like, um, as I said, the black sheep. Mm -hmm. And you kind of have to fight through it. And going to this stage of being bewildered, not knowing where your spiritual family is, because the family you've been given through birth and the people surrounding you, they definitely don't understand you and you've gone beyond that. And so now you become a stranger in your own family and you feel isolated more than ever before with your friends, mm -hmm. with where you're working, your coworkers. Then we come towards the light we're all coming from different walks of life and we're all walking towards the source where the light is coming and somehow to the mystery of life we find each other we we discover each other and when we do discover each other then we can share with one another about our past our struggles past struggles and the present struggles challenges that we go through 
but now we have support and a common goal, which is amazing. It's very, very beautiful, very powerful, because it creates this source of energy within us, of hope and, and a very deep, strong desire for freedom and helping other people. So you, you are in the right place. What you're experiencing is, is right. Uh, don't doubt it. Your visions, they're coming from your higher self. You're doing really good, my dear. I'm proud of yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to meet you and uh, see my, um, the rest of the you know, family, the sister and brother. Uh, anyway, uh, I try to uh, focus more and uh, look at what part of uh, uh, things that is like unfolded for me Mm -hmm. uh, to I gather all my uh, questions and when I come to the Sedona to be prepared and uh, ask you for help. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be happy to do that. Um, this is going to be a very powerful transformational journey. Uh, we're going to be in Sedona in a very, very uh, auspicious time. Uh, what is going on is uh, I, I didn't know, as I mentioned it before, and then I put it on my Facebook. I think Amir emailed, I don't know if you have received the uh, uh, email from us regarding uh, the, the significance of the astrological significance of the time we're going to be in Sedona, which as all of you know that Sedona is my power place and I consider it my true home. Um, it's to me is one of the most powerful places on planet earth, if not the, the most powerful place on planet earth, but that's of course my personal opinion. And we're going to be there at this time that this major planetary alignment is happening, that Pluto is, is meeting and is in conjunction with Saturn. And mm -hmm. And it's really the major shift into the dawn of Aquarius. And, and we, you may be experiencing, it's very, very much possible that in the next three, four weeks, as we're getting into this place, a lot of darkness, you may be shedding a lot of your dark. So maybe a lot of fear oh. appears, a lot of the old stuff appear for you. Um, that's to be expected. So your demons may come out of you in the next four weeks because you, we're going to be shedding all the old as we're shifting into really the higher version of ourselves. And that's happening in, a, in this planetary alignment. It's happening right now. But the peak of it is going to be exactly the time we're going to be in Sedona. So I um, normally don't go into the future and project into the future. Um, that's not my character. And those of you who've been with me, you know that I'm very much into here and now. And everything is here right now. But if we are to be projecting into the future and look at what is going on was something very, very special in the store for us and that we're building up towards that and it will be revealing uh, itself. So I'm very, very excited about what's coming and this journey we're going to be taking together and the group that is coming and it's very potent, it's very powerful and it's right on. So. It's going to be a nice journey. So let's see how we're doing with time. Okay, we're doing good. We have another 10, 15 minutes. Hi, Linda. I haven't talked to you for a while. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Good to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Sedona. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. 
I'm excited. Yeah. yeah, I'm very happy that you're joining us. Yes, me too. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to see you. It's always nice to have your energy. Yeah, you're, thank you. You're always positive and you bring a lot of light. So, and the times, the times we've been around each other, I always enjoyed having you in our group. So I'm yeah. very welcoming you. It was nice to see you here in Gothenburg as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on coming back. I'll be coming back in, in uh, April. So, April? Yeah, in April. Towards the end of April, at the end of my tour, uh, I'll come to Sweden for 10 days. So I can't not come to Sweden. So <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So hi, Monica. trying to unmute you somehow it's not i'm sorry i can't unmute you so forgive me hi marit hello sweetheart. how are you sweetheart nice seeing you oh nice seeing you too i'm fine yeah yeah you look like you're happy and smiling yeah Hi, Shadi. Hello. Yeah, you can talk. I understand. Yes, yeah. I'm a, How are you? It is, it is good. Thank you. It's it's good. Everything is good. This meditation, I like it. I'm going to go and home and repeat it again. Um, so it was very nice. I like it. I, I'm sure I'm going to get different experience when I do it when I'm alone. Sorry, if you hear noises. Yeah, I me. hear you. I'm talking. I understand. It's okay. I just wanted to say hi to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah good seeing you. Okay. Okay, so any questions? Anybody? would like to share with, with us about your experience. Is this help you? Is this working for you? Anything? Hi, Cecilia. <laughs> Hi, Cecilia. I can't hear you. You're, you're muted. Uh, Cecilia, are you there? Can you hear me? It's my battery is very low. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you for all of your messages. I really appreciate it. I've been meaning to call you and say hello to you, and we'll do that later on today. We can chat. Okay. Yeah, nice seeing you. Okay. All right. Well, Our next academy is going to be uh, next Wednesday, same time. Um, I don't have any official events in Los Angeles till in April at the moment. Um, as you, most of you know, our, my next event is going to be the Sedona Retreat, which is going to be from January 4th to the 12th. Uh, and uh, at the moment, uh, Amir and I were setting up uh, my schedule of, of committed to, to three countries uh, in, in my European tour but we're setting things up. I, I will be announcing it and letting you know what's coming. I may be offering an online course uh, and I will, as soon as I uh, finalize it and the time and the day and everything, I'll let you know. If you have any uh, suggestions, you're welcome to write to me. Any ideas or anything that anybody's looking for, please contact me and let me know. And then I'll, we'll go on from there. Uh, hi, Trina. Hi, how are you? How are you? Uh, I'm fine. I have a little cold, but uh, 
accept that I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Yeah, yeah, Thank always. You. Yeah, yeah. I will see you in. Say say that again. I didn't. I will see you in Sedona. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing you too. Absolutely. And I think you girls are gonna. I think you girls gonna have fun together because. Uh, Eight of you are flying from Norway, Sweden together. So you're gonna, you're gonna, um, you're gonna have fun in a plane together. Yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, when I think about it, part of me is like, I want to be in that plane with you girls too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will be exciting. Yeah, and, and yeah. you girls are doing the right thing. You're arriving a day earlier, so you get to have a good night's sleep in Phoenix, and then the next day we'll bring you to Sedona. So, yeah, yeah that that's the smart way of doing it if you're coming from Scandinavia. Yes, no stress. <laughs> no stress. It's much more relaxed, yeah. Yes. Otherwise, it can, it can be a little bit um, strenuous if you have to just do the whole thing together. It's doable, of course, but yeah. you're, doing, you're doing it the right way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, cool. Hi, Mina. How uh -huh. are you? Yeah, nice seeing you. Me uh, too, I'm fine. Everything's good? Yeah, mostly. Yeah, mostly, I, I hear you, mostly. Well, nice having you at the academy. Hey, nice to be here. You have any questions for me? No, no. No. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. Uh, oh, we have one more questions. Okay. Let me. All right. Hi, hi, Shabnam. Uh, hi, uh, Zara. I, I, I just asked that what time we should get there. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna contact you after the academy and give you a time regarding your flight arrival. I, I was going to do that today, so I'll contact you after okay. the academy. How's that? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So nice to see you all. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I look forward to seeing you next week. And uh, we're going to be sending you the broadcast of this academy. You should be expecting receiving it in the next couple of days. Uh, you can also uh, go on my YouTube channel as well as on Facebook. Uh, there's a copy of this broadcast, which is already there. Uh, feel free to reach out whether to our academy page or write an email or Facebook me uh, if you have any questions or any subjects that you want me to address and talk about next week. I look forward to seeing you all. Sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. Namaste. Namaste.